How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and in today's video guys we are going to be doing a little bit more work in the garage. We've got to go do a barn find first and then we're going to go to the auction house. Um, there's a handful of cars that I have downloaded um, that I just can't seem to find in the junkyard for some, for some reason. Um, so we're going to see if we can find anything in the barn finds and then we're also going to give the uh, auction house a shot because the auction house is not terrible but it can be pretty good sometimes. So. Let's head to our barn find first. Um, hopefully we can get another barn find off this barn find because that's usually uh, one of the things that can happen. Um, but there's just like a list of five cars that I'm looking for. Um, any of the five will do pretty much. I've had a couple of them for a while and I just have not been able to find them. Okay, what do we got here? Tempest Magnum Flatface Proto. Another Salem. Oh, that's a GT. And then DeLorean, but not the DeLorean. Oh, wait. Yeah, the DMC 12 carbon fiber. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, first, though, uh, let's see. We gotta find our crate here. There it is. And I don't need any of these, so I'm probably gonna pass this one up. Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's buy that, head back. Um, when we get back, though, I'll open that uh, case up, see if we manage to get a another one. And if we did, we'll head back to another barn find. We'll do that back and forth until we don't find a barn um, pretty much from the cases. Let's go to that. Let's see. Big money, no whammy? Whammy. Okay. Exhaust. Uh, is that a filter? An intercooler, okay. A couple of plus five qualities, I'll take those. All right, so then, how was, how was the 100, some thousand, 40,000, okay. Wow, that thing did not get much value out of it, did it? Um, okay, so next up, we are going to go to the auctions. So the auctions are pretty good, if you guys don't know about them. Um, the quality is basically, I think, the qualities go junkyard's the worst, uh, barn finds next then we have auctions and then we have the car salon the, the dealership oh wow there we go so there is one or two of them in there that i want to take a look at so let's let's skip this stuff um personally with the car auctions i like to uh oh dodge challenger srt hellcat um, I like to try and get ones that are not like full full stars, which I think is four. So if I can get like a two star, it's or it's five stars. So if I can get like a two to three star, that's perfect. All right, what do we got here? Okay, yes, this is one that I I think I really want. This is just the Fair Lady Fair Lady Z uh, non Rocket Bunny edition, and it's got four stars on it, so it's got a little bit of rust to it. Let's start the auction. So it'll give us the car value in the top right, and that's pretty much right where the bidding will stop. So I'll go all the way up to that, and then nobody else will. Put that one in the garage. So yeah, once you surpass that, uh, the computer stops bidding against you. There's not really a good way to do the whole bidding stuff, um, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so this is WRX, which is what I want, the tuned version, 4x4. All right, so let's get going on this. Start the auction. We're going up to $96,000. So we'll probably hit 100K before it stops. Obviously, the, the, the price is a little inflated, but ta-da. There we go. And now we want it. So we just took home two cars um, that were on my bucket list that I was trying to get. Whoa, look at the paint job on this thing. That is actually pretty crazy. All right, let's quit. Go back. Uh, we'll take a look at what we got, so I can actually dive a little bit deeper into them and see uh, see what see what's going on. See what the damage is, pretty much. Okay, so 432 Fair Lady Z got a pretty big i6 in there. Good, good to see. Um, so if you guys didn't see in the last one. Okay, gold bodies 99 in the last uh in the last one last videos uh we did a rocket bunny edition of this so i wanted to do the normal edition 
um, just because I just really want to give it a try. Um, but it looks like in this one, the body is in great shape. It's got 99, 100 on the frame, and 100 on the interior. Um, so it's just all the basic parts that we need to kind of take out and uh, have a look at. So that one is pretty easy, if I'm going to be honest. Let me see. Move that parking. So yeah, this one's just suspension, tires, wheels, and engine. Uh, those things need to be uh, checked on, redone. Um, but actually, let me see. Does it even will it start is the question. Okay. It starts. That's impressive. Uh, next up here is going to be the WRX Tuned. Check and see what we got in the trunk here. We got in the front. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so the body's in a little bit less shape. Frame, interior, all that stuff. Um, so it looks like it's in pretty decent shape overall. I think we just need to... Uh, I think it just needs to be... A little bit of TLC, a little bit of, a little bit of care to it. Maybe wipe it down a little bit. But other than that, now this thing's in fantastic shape. Let me move this thing back to the first uh, garage entrance. All right, left side. Okay. Let's see if it'll start up on first. Okay, two turns and it's good to go. Interior looks pretty fantastic in this thing, also. If I do say so. Got tons of STI uh, badging and branding everywhere. All right, so first off, guys, we'll start with the STI, um, just because it's got probably less work overall to do. Um, everything else is everything is a little higher on it, uh, which is really really nice if you ask me. Um, so we're just gonna start with some basic stuff first. Uh, some easy to get to stuff. Let me see here. Um, I should probably here. I'll charge the battery really quick. And then we're going to test the full car down. This video is going to be more of a uh, inspection of the cars that we uh, took in. Um, I can get this one clean, though. Like that. Move the welder. Oh, really? Well, looks like you only have one thing over at a time. Okay, interior should be clean now. I see. You can only use this on the. That makes sense. Move it over to the lifter, and then we'll be able to move it. Yes, there we go. So the frame on this was 89, 90. Okay, 90. Use that. There we go. Corrects the frame for us. This front fender also looks a lot better now. Um, all right. So we paid 107,000 for this. Um, so if we can surpass that, I'm happy, honestly. Okay, so next thing, let me put the battery back in. Oh, wait, actually, let me... Battery back in, and then... There we go, add some oil to it. Looks like this was pretty low on oil. Wow, that was really low on oil, actually. Okay, let's move this to the test path. I'd like to know what would be like if anything's below 60 at all. Um, cause if something's below 60, I'll probably want to go in and fix it. All right, so this is testing our brakes. Front brakes are at 86 to 89, left and right. Rears are at 87, 89. High 80s, fantastic. Let's see the shakedown test on the suspension. Start with the front, start, then go to the rear. What's that? 89, 84. Okay. So it looks like brake, brake caliper. Okay. Well, it looks like I can fix a lot of issues that it has, like a little bit of the wear issues with just the brakes, uh, brake calipers, brake pads, and the discs. So doing what those three things on each side, it's 12 things total. Um, that'll help bring up the uh, condition quite a bit on this thing also. Um, next up, we're going to take off all the bumpers. 
Um, give me that. All the doors, hood, everything. Uh, it's all just slightly scratched up and it just makes it look awful, but it's really not that bad. Three percent, good. All right, so I spent pretty much no money uh, restoring this back up. I just gotta make sure to check everything to be a hundred before we slide it back into their place. Hundred. And I don't even think I will have to repaint this either, because we managed if we if we manage to save everything. Granted, I could just paint the singular pieces. I'll wait on that. That. Hundred. Hundred. Windows are 94. All right, let's go check the inventory really quick, see what we're at. Uh, yeah, nothing, all the glass was below 100, so we'll have to go buy all new glass for this thing and some new plates. Okay, I got everything purchased, including, oh wait, uh-oh, I locked two plates, and I thought there was one on the front, but I guess there's not. Well, that's okay. I picked up a Mexico plate, because I did like, I do like the color of it. It looks really, really good. Alright, how are we looking now? 100, 187. Uh, looks like we've almost, I think we've pretty much surpassed the, uh, the value we put into this originally to buy this. Um, so it looks like we got to do a little bit more rest restoring. I'm uh, bringing it back up there, getting the price a little bit closer. Um, so I think if we redo the brakes next, yeah, if we redo the brakes next, it, I think it should be, I think it should be good. Get it back up. This one's definitely going to need a little bit more uh, work done to it. Um, it's kind of a shame I haven't been able to find a WRX that's like completely trashed because I really, really want to work on. Um, like a rusted out one, but for some reason, people are just taking too good of, uh, too good of care for them now. Alright, we'll pop off all the calipers, pads, and discs. I'll check the price of the, uh, pads and discs. Um, if they're above 85, I might save them or not. Um, I'm trying to figure out what is the best cost efficient uh, measures to take. Like this one looks almost 100%. 96, yeah, that's uh, that's insane. All right, so for like 20 bucks, you repaired all those. So 96, 88, 86. So we'll get one break disc. Uh, yeah, we'll just get one break disc. That's it. So break. This is the only thing. Oh, there's only one that I felt should be should be replaced. The rest of them were all pretty far up there. Should we get the same size tire wheel combo all throughout? Oh, that one's a little rusty. You know what? But it's within it's within the tolerance I wanted, so we'll hold on to it for now. I'd rather not unmount and remount all the tires for now, so I'm not going to. I could increase it by like maybe a couple hundred dollars just by uh, repairing them, but I have to take them off and rebalance every single one, which is just a pain in the neck, so we're going to wait on that. Get the sport tire on. Uh, 
All right, that didn't really help at all, actually. The car value increased a tiny, tiny bit. But other than that, nothing else really. Well, guys, there we go. I got the uh, WRX tuned up. I got new oil put in it. I could probably just spark plugs or something like that. Um, I got new new oil brakes. Um, I guess I added oil. We put new brakes on. Uh, or we fixed them up pretty much. Um, then we got uh, all the body panels fixed up, the frame fixed up, interior cleaned. Um, so it's pretty much good to go. I would definitely say this is in good used condition. Uh, definitely to be ready to be sold, but I'll probably wait off on selling it for now. I'm not sure. I might sell it just to get the money back, but I kind of want to do something with it. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like uh, down below and leave a comment. If you guys know of any cars in the game that you want me to try and find and work on, uh, coming up next, we might be doing a series on this. I'm going to try a few more uh, barn finds probably coming up here. Maybe just do a video on just nothing more, nothing but barn finds. Um, so uh, be looking out for that. Hit the, hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified when I release videos. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.